Illumination's back with a brand new original animated film. Eh, original, I'm really, really playing with that word there because there's nothing really original about migration outside of it being about talking ducks. And sometimes that's all you need. This review is gonna be spoiler free, but if you wouldn't mind making like a duck and migrating your butt up to the subscribe button, hitting that thing down and maybe even liking the video, I would appreciate it because you're flying into good hands. I have tons of movie reviews, movie roasts, live streams every single week. Would love to have you stick around. With that being said, let's do this spoiler free review. What we have here are a couple ducks living their best life. Mac and Pam have it all. The pond. The woods, the safety, the food, the water, and two lovely little kids. Kids who unfortunately are kind of bored with their simple life. They want to see the world. They want to explore what else is out there. But Mac is your typical protective parent who doesn't want to leave. He's safe here. And as a parent, it's our job to keep our kids in the most protective, best care we possibly can. Unless you're a garbage parent. So there's some of those out there too. But this is really reaching out to parents and families and saying, hey, listen, you've seen this movie a million times. <laughs> this, is, this isn't creative in the slightest, but we got you still. Illumination is going to bring the emotion. They're going to bring the humor. They're going to bring the family values to you. It's a thing that Disney used to do. Illumination's really kind of taken up the torch and they said, what used to work well that Disney doesn't seem to do anymore? Oh, 90-minute films with a cute little short story beforehand. What else? Colorful, beautiful visuals. Something Disney used to do, but kind of seems to be going away from that. If you saw Wish, you'd know what I mean. That movie looked atrocious. What else? Simple stories. Are they dumb stories? Yeah, kind of. Do they make no sense at all? Of course not. This is Illumination. If you're listening to me, wondering, is this the Illumination that hits Pixar levels of profoundness? No. This isn't a Studio Ghibli film. It's freaking migration about ducks flying away from their little happy nest and going to see the world and explore. This is the people that brought us Minions, Secret Life of Pets, The Grinch. Not profound films, not high art here, but still art. Still a good time at the movies. I know what I'm expecting from these. And I will say, I went into migration with the lowest of expectations because I thought it looked crap. I thought it looked like crap and it surprised me. Not in an amazing like, oh my gosh, this is fantastic sort of way, but in a, wow, they actually, they did it. They did a good job. I can see families, I can see kids really liking this movie. Some parents might be tuning into this because they want to know the age range for this film. I would say all age ranges are pretty safe with one big however. However, there is a sequence that's about five minutes long that I really enjoyed, but it's a bit scary. It's a bit scary. I could see younger kids getting freaked out by this. It is pretty early on too. It's, it's within the first 30 minutes for sure. Outside of that though, the movie is easy breezy. It's colorful. It's lively. It's funny. Another character, the dreaded Aquafina, shows up later. Now, I have a history with Aquafina. She's probably a very lovely person. I'm sure she is very likable. I, I just don't like her in movies. It's a personal thing. She's never voiced a kid. She voices a lot of characters and I can't stand them almost every single time. Outside of her performance in Shang-Chi, which I thought she was perfectly pleasant in. Here she is again playing a character, a pigeon, that I cannot stand. And this destroys 15 minutes of the movie for me. We were sailing well. We were flying high for 30 solid minutes. And then they hit the city and this pigeon shows up and the whole thing crashes for 15 minutes or so. And all I'm thinking is, oh God, we have Secret Life of Pets on our hands. Another movie that I just really didn't like after the opening sequence. Thankfully, we, we deal with that character and we move past it. Because in this movie much like pretty much every film that's kind of a road trip adventure, we come to different locations, we meet different quirky characters, and we move on fast enough. I think the way that this handles those sequences as well, because 
it marries them together nicely in the final act. You get good closure for everything. It just wraps up very nicely. And again, outside of that 15 minute speed bump, which personal preference, not a fan, there, other people will like this scene enough. It moves very good. I, I don't see any, I don't see any issues with this movie. I think it's funny enough. It hits all the notes it needs to. Nothing else has to be said. If you're on the fence with this one and you have kids, I think you'll have a great time. If you're a single guy <laughs> going to the theater to watch Migration like I did, you might be okay too. I was fine. And I went in with a, with a pretty sour taste. I will say there was a 10 minute intro which was uh, from the Despicable Me universe. I hated that. That short intro thing was miserable. I couldn't wait for it to be over. It was all the kind of slapstick, farty, stupid stuff from Illumination that I can't stand. And it was all just kind of like condensed into this 10 minute awful thing. You might like that too, but just, just beware. There is a little short before the film fires up. Okay, those are my thoughts on migration. Let me know if you saw it or if you're you're eager to get out and check it out, leave a comment below. Please like the video if you had some fun here, you learned something, or you at least thought I can stand this guy well enough to like his video and maybe even throw a subscription his way. I would appreciate it. All right, hopefully I see you next time. Have a good one. What a weird way to have a good one. That was odd. Happy holidays. Better. <laughs>